On the user preferences menu, you will find multiple items which can be adjusted to make the console more familiar for you and your operators. These include things like user-defined keys, user-defined knobs, and custom fader banks. Let's take a look at how we set up and change these parameters. There are 16 user-defined keys which are available on your CL Series digital mixing console. Each of these user-defined keys has a pre-assigned function, but we can change these functions if we choose to. To view what those pre-assigned functions are, touch on the right-hand side of the screen where it says Setup, and then touch under Current User where it says User Setup. On this User Setup menu, you will see multiple tabs. We're going to choose the tab that says User Defined Keys. Here, on this display, you can see the different functions which are assigned to your user-defined keys by default. If you wish to change one of these functions, simply touch on one of the virtual user-defined keys to bring up the user-defined key setup pop-up window. You can move up and down this list by using the arrow keys or the multifunction encoders in your central logic area. Select the function that you wish to use then select OK. Now whenever you press on that user defined key the function that you selected will be activated. To close this window you can touch on the X in the top right hand corner. If you wish to customize your user defined knobs, select the user defined knobs tab down at the bottom. Here you can see what the default settings are for each of your user defined knobs. To change that parameter, touch on the virtual user defined knob to open up that setup pop-up window. You can scroll through the list using the multifunction encoder or any of the arrow keys. Select the parameter that you wish to assign to that user-defined knob and then press OK. Now, whenever that user-defined knob is adjusted, that parameter that you've selected will change. For your custom fader banks, you can adjust them by pressing on the custom fader bank tab down at the bottom. The model of your CL series digital mixing console that you're using will determine which custom fader banks are available. Here on my CL5 digital mixer, I have two custom fader banks in bank A, one custom fader bank in bank B, and six custom fader banks in bank C. To select one of those fader banks, touch on its icon. Selecting a channel for that bank can be done by pressing the select button on that channel, or touching in the gray area beneath the channel and selecting that parameter from this list. Keep in mind, we can also select any fader that we choose on the console to be applied to our master fader bank. 